Joining me all the way from New York to help us make sense of it all, editor for Wired, Noah Shackman is here yet again. How are you, sir? No. Uh, pleasure to have you back. I, I predicted that you would be here based off your tweets and my extensive data mining abilities. Um, we'll get to that story in a second, Noah. It seems like everybody is worried about this Facebook data leak uh, that a security analyst posted online last night. It was a giant torrent of people's information. Uh, first of all, what was really out there? Is it all that dangerous? Was it really that intrusive? Well, uh, you know, Facebook will say it's no big deal. Uh, but the truth is, a lot of people put public information on Facebook uh, without really knowing it. Uh, a couple months ago, you may remember, there was a, a guy who put together a Facebook API called Evil, which uh, scoured Facebook for people's phone numbers and found hundreds of thousands of them. So this is sort of in the same vein. Just people leave stuff out there because Facebook makes it really hard to keep your information private. Right. Well, why do you think this information was released in the first place, then? Well, I'm here in a lead line studio, so my powers of ESP are not quite what they should be, so I can't uh, read this guy's mind. But, but is it, um, I mean, if it, know, like, if it were like, if this were a scare tactic to say, hey, listen, uh, you, people put all this information on Facebook, this is stuff that you could get from a basic Google search. So it doesn't all, it doesn't seem like some intrepid hacker really pulled a fast one on Facebook. It just seemed like he ran a couple bots that gathered all the data that people are willingly putting out there anyways. Yeah, but maybe that's the scary part. Is that, is that, I mean, is this just an eye-opener then for the general public? Is that potentially the reason? Again, I know you're in the Leadline studio, but, uh, you know, when you see something like that, do you go, hey, this is a wake-up call to people? Uh, you know, I hope it's a wake-up call, but it's like how many wake-up calls are you going to have in a row? Like how many times does the alarm have to go off uh, and, and people still hit the snooze button? True. You know? I, I think you could take a privacy flare gun to the face in this day and age, and people will still tweet about it. Um, but let's get to the other security issues. You broke the news this morning that the Google and the CIA, uh, the Google, have invested in a company called uh, uh, Recorded Future that can, uh, it can monitor and, and, and access thousands of websites and tell not only what we are doing, but apparently it can predict what we're going to be doing in the future. Is that correct? Yeah, apparently they are not in any leadline studios. Right. <laughs> Uh, right. So basically the deal is that it's going to scour a bunch of websites to look at not only people, places, and things, but it's also going to look at time. And it's going to look at co-occurring events. So like, for example, if I'm going to Aruba and Dr. Evil is having his, uh, you know, innovations in secret right. layers conference. I hope he uses a Aruba. more secretive well, handle than Dr. I'm Evil on Twitter, by the way. <laughs> like, yeah. total terrorist 27. Like, oh, I might want to change that, buddy, but all right. So yeah. you, you're, you're yeah. going to a place where he's having a conference. The, data, the, 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 the crawler's going to find that data, sync it up, and say you might be going to that conference? Yeah, something like that. And uh, one could argue that the, the CIA should potentially have access to this technology, but are people freaking out? I mean, people were upset about Google Street View capturing data or unsecured Wi-Fi network data. So does Google have a right to this information, or should they have access to it? Well, I mean, we kind of make an implicit bargain with Google, right? We let them scour our email and look at all our searches and check out all our maps uh, because their products are really good mm -hmm. and because we kind of believe their don't be evil mantra. Now, if they're starting to get into business with the intelligence community, uh, that starts to make that mantra seem a little hollow. Yeah, I, I would agree with you there. But unlike the Facebook news, this monitoring, this monitoring, it's like, oh, if I have a Facebook page, I could delete it. Or I could go and crawl through all their privacy settings and lock that down. It seems like with this software, um, you'd have to pretty much shut off your internet in order for them to stop gathering info on you. Yeah, this Leadline studio is actually quite comfortable. Uh, they offer <laughs> a of soft drinks and, and liquor. Uh, I got offered some uh, Belvedere before, so uh, maybe you can join me in here. Yeah, next time we'll be doing the loop from Faraday cages. That's our future. Uh, Noah Shackman from Wired, thank you so much for keeping us in the loop. We always appreciate it. And I'll let you get the tinfoil hat back on. I know it was, it was hurting reception, but I'm going to put mine on as well.